As a PC gamer, it's hard to admit that computers can be a bit of a problem and sometimes in a very frustrating way. And there are a number of issues that have happened recently that are worth bearing in mind and knowing about and things that might highlight something of interest for you. So I want to talk about those because I've been having problems. So I've got a computer, which you can see here, which is my main machine that I'm running on a regular basis. And I've had issues with this just blue screening randomly just a lot lately. <laughs> Very frustrating in the middle of games, it'll just crash blue screen and then reset. Blue screens can happen from a variety of different effects and reasons. They can be down to hardware, software and driver issues and it can be all sorts of things. It could be you've got a bit of RAM malfunctioning and gone defective. It could be one of your drives is corrupting and causing problems. It can be other things. There are other issues as well. For example, Intel's 13th and 14th gen CPUs had known issues that were causing problems with the stability of the CPUs that would then lead to blue screens and issues there, which is obviously not ideal. That machine, however, is running the Core Ultra series, the Core Ultra 9 285K, which is meant to be more stable, but I've still been seeing blue screens lately. Now, I know I've been having issues because I've got a Gen 5 PCIe NVMe SSD in that system, which keeps overheating. And I've had issues with that when using vertical mount and just generally, if I put too much pressure on it, it'll overheat and then it just stops working, which then causes the system to be problematic. It's not my operating system drive, luckily, because if it wasn't, that would be leading to blue screens. But I've recently seen another video, which is by Jay's Two Cents, and I'll link to that in the description because it's pretty interesting and it might actually be related to the problem that I've been having. So there are issues caused by Microsoft updates to Windows, which are then negatively impacting certain NVMe SSDs with Scion controllers. So there's a long list of different controllers and different NVMEs that are affected by this. And it can mean that when a system is under heavy load, basically the whole thing just crashes and blue screens. And Jay shows this off and shows it happening. And I'm starting to think that it might be my issue. I thought maybe it was because my dryer was overheating or perhaps maybe there were issues with the Core Ultra CPUs. And this is the problem with blue screens because there's so many different things that can affect it. Now I've done a guide separately on all the different fixes you can try and run to address your blue screen errors that I'll link to in the description as well. In that, I went into a lot of depth on all the different things you can do, you can tweak, and there's some pretty easy things that you can run inside Windows to address these issues, to fix any problems you might have with the drives, for example. If there's something corrupt with drivers or software, then these fixes can run that and also address any issues on the drive itself. So there's various different tools and windows that you can run. And I've run those and they did seem to make things a bit stable for a while, but then again, it started to crash and it's sporadic and it's random. And that's the issue with blue screens. And it probably happens to a lot of people in that you think everything's fine, but then suddenly you'll be able to just find your PCs crashing and there's no logic to it. For example, I've been playing Isle Sturmovic 2, which is a flight sim game. I've been doing it full screen. I'm a super ultra wide monitor. So on this Samsung monitor, which is a 49 inch monitor, and that basically runs at a very high resolution. So it does put it under quite a bit of pressure, but it wasn't crashing while doing that. And yet when I went picture by picture mode, doing it split screen and then trying to record footage of that game in action, it then crashed and did the blue screen on me. Very frustrating. I've also had it happen just when browsing the web and doing other things. And as I said, I ran the fixes and it hasn't helped. I'm starting to think moving to Linux might be a solution because Windows has had quite a few issues lately if you've been following the tech news. So that can be annoying. And obviously there's also been issues with Nvidia drivers causing crashes as well, which is why I swapped to AMD, the 9070 XT in my main build, because I found that my 4090 was just crashing the system constantly. That wasn't blue screens though. That was a different issue entirely. But those sorts of things mean that you just can't use your PC properly. And there's other stupid little issues, like with the NZXT cam not allowing the temperature for my GPU at the moment, which is also a bit frustrating. So hopefully I've given you some interesting insights into how frustrating it can be dealing with PC problems. As I said, blue screens can be down to loads of different things and you have to kind of look into what it's causing it. You'll get a little notification and sort of 
a warning about what's causing that potentially. But usually it'll say it could be anything, driver, software, hardware, and it's frustrating to try and find the fix. And that's the problem. But I'd recommend looking into this MVME thing because you could be impacted by that as well. So I thought it was worth talking about this. Thanks very much for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.